Hey! Okay, so if you watched my last eczema video, um, then you would have seen how bad it was and um, yeah, what I have to use to get rid of it. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to actually go through all the products that I use to prevent it. Um, when I had the bad flare up a couple of years ago, I realised that a lot of it, not only was it caused by allergies, but also a lot of it was because of the products that I used. Um, so I used to just use products without even looking at what was in them. Um, and after speaking to some other bloggers, specifically mainly beauty bloggers, um, I realised that I really had to change the products that I used. Um, and since I've done that, I hardly have any flare-ups whatsoever. I've had like two or three in the past two and a half years, um, whereas I used to get them all the time. Um, so it isn't just the environment, it's not just the weather or the heating or allergies. It's also got a lot to do with products. Um, so I'm going to go through the products that I use that I find are okay, basically. The products that I use day to day that do not make my eyes flare up um, and dry my skin out. So I'm basically I'm going to go through it, through all the products as if from like morning to night. So I'm going to start with shampoo and conditioner. So the shampoo and conditioners that I use are from Boots. Um, it's the Naked range um, and I love these. There are so many different ones you can get. They smell amazing. Like, they really smell really good. Um, you can get lots of different ones. So at the moment I've got a hydrating shampoo with an intensive care conditioner. Um, and then um, cleansers. So cleansers that I use morning and sometimes in the evenings if I can be bothered. <laughs> um, so the Cordelay one. Ah, can you see that? Yeah. Um, it's just the instant framing cleanser and I really love it. It's not too expensive um, and it lasts ages. And I love that it's foaming as well. I really like the foaming ones. Um, I also, however, use the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish and I love using this. But I tend to use this one in the morning and this one in the evening because especially in winter, I really love using this in the evenings doing the whole ritual with the, like warm water just like cleansing off the makeup but it does take time so if I'm in a hurry or if I'm late home then I forget about it which isn't the best thing but hey and then um so body wash like shower gel I use the balance me super toning body wash it smells really good um and also I mean, you like to mix and match every so often, right? So I also use the Dr. Organics um, Virgin Coconut Oil one. Both of those are really good. Um, and all of these products, they don't have any SLSs, they don't have parabens, they don't have any of that stuff. Um, and then, so after shower stuff, moisturisers. So moisturisers, as a body moisturiser, I use the Dr. Organic, the Coconut Oil one again from the same line um, and then but you already saw what I use on my face so I use the Manuka honey cream on my eyes if I have a flare up or if they're particularly dry however day to day I tend to use um, either this one or Mugu I don't actually have that one here because it's packed in my suitcase um, ready to go to Australia but the Mugu one is also a really good day to day one and it's cheaper than this one so two different price points um but i do love this one as well and i know i said it before but it is really good and it smells really nice but the moogie one is really really good too if um you're on a budget and then makeup wise so i don't a okay i don't actually use that much organic makeup i just use the bases so, for example, I use the Levera foundation um, for day to day with the Levera mascara day to day and the inner cut eyeshadows. I've got quite a few of these because they do some really cool colours. They're really pretty. Um, 
but if I I use a normal eyeliner um, and I use the uh, I can never say it bourgeois um, blusher um, I find it's fine it doesn't have parabens in it um, I don't know what else is in it I can't remember but it works it's okay um, and then when I go out I kind of treat myself <laughs> to normal products and I use the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation with the MAC Studio Fix Powder and I find those two combinations are amazing. The two, those two products together give me completely flawless skin no matter how bad my skin is at the time. And then um, when I go out I also use the... I switch between mascaras because I've got quite a few. It's either the Max Factor, the black one with the gold. I also use the Benefit They're Real and a MAC one. I switch basically whichever one's closest to me at the time. Um, and then, yeah, so I only use like that kind of full heavy makeup like once a week, twice, maybe. Mm, it depends how many like events and stuff I've got already. Sometimes I won't wear makeup more, I'll just wear like the tiniest amount. But if it's like a really nice event, then I'll make an effort and put the full bad makeup on. Um, but yeah, and then after makeup, so in the evenings, I use, right, so this one, I've been using for the past couple of months and it's finally empty almost um, and I really really like it. It is really good. Um, I checked the ingredients when I got it and I can't, nothing jumps out at me that says it's bad. Um, that it's got phenox, phenox ethanol in it but I'm okay with that but I know that it is an irritant for some people. Um, it has a no I don't know. The person to ask if this is okay is um, Sugar Puffish. I think that's how you said. I'll put her Twitter down below and you can ask her because she is amazing with this stuff. She helped me so much when I first started doing the whole organic natural stuff thing. Um, she recommended loads of really good products. So yeah, ask her. She'll know. Ask her on Twitter. She's lovely. And then I. Well, okay, so you know how much I love this moisturiser. So I've recently got their makeup remover as well. I got that, and I haven't actually tried it yet. But when this runs out, I'm going to try it, and then I'll let you know what it's like. Ah, I'm really excited to try it. Smell it. I can't really smell it. Uh, I can't smell it. Anyway. Um, hopefully that will be just as good as the moisturiser, but I will let you know. And then, once I've got makeup off, I then use the Weleda, Weleda, I have no idea how to pronounce half this stuff, Weleda, the refining toner, that's what I use after that. And then, once I've like got my makeup off, so in between this, sometimes I'll cleanse. Oh, with that, which I showed you earlier. Um, but if I'm feeling really lazy, then I don't. And I just go straight to toner. And then after that, I use the R Skin Cage... Skin Cage? R Skin Care Pro Age Eye Treatment. Now, even though this is designed for old people, not old people, older people, who have a starting to get wrinkles, I'm 23 right now, so I mean, this kind of, I'm not really into the whole anti wrinkle stuff just yet. But I really love this eye cream and it doesn't irritate my eyes, so yeah. And it smells heavenly. I mean, you know, no, I don't know if you do know. It, okay, it reminded me of the smell of really nice hotels like um, the. Shangri-La hotels and the Intercontinental hotels and the Langham one too, the Langham in London, it smells of that and I don't know what the smell is, I'm going to have to message them and ask or something 
I don't know what the smell is, but it's so nice. Um, and it reminds me of holidays. But it's a really nice eye cream and it soaks in really quickly, but it's really moisturising and I really like it. Um, so yeah, those are the main products that I use. I'm going to link them all down below so you can have a look, see if there's anything you fancy or that you think would help you. Um, if you haven't already, go and check out my um, video on my eye eczema and the products that I use for that. Um, I think those are all the products that I use. I'm like looking around. Yeah, because I use normal deodorant. I know some people use like organic deodorant. I did try that, but I tried a couple of them and they did not work. I mean, I was getting home every day and thinking, oh shit, that smell is me. Um, yeah, not nice. So I stick to, I hate it so much. I hate this company. I hate this brand. Dove. Fucking Dove. I do not like them, I don't agree with what they do, I don't agree with the whole palm oil issue at all, but their deodorant is the only one that I can use because it's the only one that doesn't irritate my skin. So it sucks big time, I have tried the organic natural ones, but they don't work. The Dove one is the only one that works, the only one that my skin will accept. So I have to keep buying it, and it's the only product of theirs that I buy, because I don't agree with their ethics at all. Um, so, yeah, sadly that's the only one I can use. And then, oh, hair stuff, like, hang on. So, as well as, oh, oh, hang on. I completely forgot about, like, hand moisturisers. Okay, so, I have the most amazing moisturiser at work, which my best friend got me last year for my birthday, because she knew how much I loved like organic natural products so she got me this hand cream in a big pump bottle and it's so nice it smells amazing it's like all lemongrassy and I have it at work because it's really good to have on my desk because it's just a pump bottle so you just pump it out when you want anyway but the hand cream that I keep in my handbag is the Neil's Yard Be Lovely and I've used this for a couple of years now and I really love it it's really nice it's again it's really citrusy and really like it smells really good it's like very lemony um which i love that one's really good and then hair for like you know when you go to straight you know leave-in conditioners and stuff so the leave-in conditioner i use is again the naked little miracle it's nearly run out though it's like really empty at the moment i need to go get some more but yeah and then apart from that like i if i'm straightening or blow drying my hair um I just use normal, like normal heat styling products. Um, the GHD ones are my favourites. I love them, and they're like they're okay because I only use them once a week, maybe. So, yeah. But day to day, I tend to use a lot of organic products. Um, Doctor Organics are amazing. Like just go to Holland and Barrett. They've got such a big range there. So many different ones, and then Boots that they're starting to get to get in a lot of better brands, a lot of brands that aren't just the normal cheap ones that are filled with shit basically and um, also the boots near my work they've just started getting in like all the really nice French brands which I'm really happy about so I'm gonna have to try some of those ones out as well um, but yeah I think that's it from all of that but okay so the uh, ingredients to avoid, personally for me, it might not work for you, it might be different for you, but the ingredients that I avoid are parabens, so like propyl paraben, methyl paraben, those kind of things, SLSs, which are like sodium lauryl sulfate and sodium lauryl whatever else, and other various sulfates, um, and talc, so in a lot of like eyeshadows, um, they contain talc, and I talc dries out your skin so I can't have anything with talc in it um, and then also Mika M-I-C-A that stuff I think that stuff's pretty nasty too I have to check but yeah basically I avoid using those products a lot I use I do use them like once a week when I go out clubbing because as much as I love the Inuka ones they're 
I just really love, you know the MUA palettes? So I've got a couple of those and I just really love them. And so I kind of treat myself once a week to go out and use them. Um, but day to day, these little beauties. Um, the colours are really, really nice. I've got a few of them. Um, and they're quite long lasting and they're really buildable. Really, really buildable. Um, and they're, oh, also lip balm. Okay, so I use the Burt's Bees lip balms. Um, and then I use normal lipsticks because I, I haven't found a decent one that's organic and natural. That's a good lipstick. And I love lipsticks. So I just use the normal ones. But yeah, balm wise, lip balm wise, I just use the Burt's Bees ones. And I love them. They're really good. Um, that's definitely it now. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, so um, have a look at my eczema video. My hair is such a mess today. Oh god, I'm gonna have to blow dry before I go out tonight. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So if you haven't already seen it, look, go and watch my eczema video, and um, it'll help you if you suffer from eczema and don't have anything to like soothe it. Um, and also subscribe you should definitely subscribe and hopefully I'll be doing more videos soon for eczema skin because I kind of stopped blogging beauty reviews just because I got so bored of it and I got really fed up with companies contacting me wanting to send me products and I was like please no I've got too many um, so I just stopped but I think I think I might just do videos of reviews now, um, so if I find anything new, like when I try this one out, I might do a little video for you, let you know, um, and yeah, hopefully that will help, and I hope this has helped, um, please do let me know, comment down below if it has helped, or if you have any questions, if you have any questions at all, tweet me, comment below, email me, I don't mind go for it, do it. Um, and also thumbs up, like thumbs up this video if it's helped you please. Thank you very much. Bye!